storm now only 60 miles west southwest of Sarasota, Florida. So this is knocking on Florida's door here. Already seeing tremendous amounts of rain. We've seen tornado warnings pretty much throughout the entire day. And now we're seeing those strongest winds approaching and eventually that storm surge that will come as this storm makes landfall within the next several hours. That is still a category three hurricane, slightly lower in intensity with 120 mile an hour winds, but still a very dangerous storm as it moves quickly to the northeast at 17 miles an hour. Here is how Milton looks on our first alert radar, and I want you to see all of these green boxes. These are flash flood warnings from the heavy downpours moving over the state. All of these red and purple boxes are tornado warnings, so we're seeing a lot of tornadoes, a lot of rain ahead of this eye making landfall. Here's Tampa. There's Tampa Bay, Bradenton, Sarasota area, and here is the eye of the hurricane. So we'll be very close to Tampa Bay, Sarasota and Anna Maria Island still forecast to be a category three hurricane as it makes landfall this evening. Overnight, it will be moving Moving over central Florida, still a category one hurricane with 90 mile an hour winds as it moves just south of Orlando and then it moves out into the Atlantic by tomorrow morning. So this is a fast moving storm. By the time many folks wake up tomorrow, it will already be out of the state of Florida. Storm surge is one of my biggest concern. You saw all the damage Helene produced. That was a storm surge in Tampa, St. Pete, a four to eight feet. We are expecting a storm surge three times that as Milton moves in 10 to foot 10 to 15 foot storm surge from Sarasota to Boca Grande and an 8 to 12 foot storm surge over Tampa Bay. That's just part of the story. Of course, much more associated with Milton. We'll talk more about impacts through the evening and what it could do to South Georgia coming up.